हेलो वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल हाइड्रोलिक स्ट्रक्चर राइट नाउ यू कैन सी दी अपस्ट्रीम ऑफ द अपर गंगा कैनाल विच इज सिचुएटेड इन दी हरिद्वार डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड वी आर इन द अपस्ट्रीम ऑफ द कलियर शरीफ सो दिस हाइड्रोलिक स्ट्रक्चर इज बेसिकली अ कैनाल बट अप स्ट्रीम ऑफ द कैनाल बट नाउ यू कैन सी दी डाउन स्ट्रीम ऑफ द कैनाल ओके राइट and this in particular is the silt ejector so this is the point of concern that you can see that silt ejector is made in the canal and if you can focus in the downstream there is another structure known as the aqueduct so upstream of the aqueduct we have this uh, silt ejector and you can clearly see the openings and all those galleries what happen right now the canal is closed so no water is flowing and only the lean flow is there which is used to desilt this canal you can see lot of siltation is being done here so uh, later on when we start this canal a very light discharge will be working on to it and you can see that high velocity will almost remove all those uh, collected sediment and it will get pass into the offset channel i will show you the offset channel also and If you can see the depth of this galleries is almost 30 feet. It's almost 10 meters around. And you can see the marking also on those uh, diaphragm wall. Those marking shows the path of the gallery. Hope you can see that it is a, a elliptical shape that gallery is being diverted into the offset side. So I will just show you the offset side also. Meanwhile, it is very important to note here that this aqueduct. the river is flowing uh, beside the canal behind uh, beneath the canal and this canal this river whatever is going into the downstream this same galleries when co collects the water laden uh, sediment laden water is get diverted into this uh, canal in this channel i just show you so this is so in beneath this road we have those galleries and this galleries exit point is into this structure so now you can see that all those water are being carried out through this gated structures and it gets diverted into this uh, channel later on downstream of this channel it meets the same river which is there in the uh, beneath the uh, canal means aqueduct always crosses over the river so this channel meets again the river i will also compile the google earth map also that will give you the more clear picture how this canal how this channel is meeting the river so i hope this is clear this is almost the upstream of the kalyer we are standing and this is the main road so so in a, in a year generally it happens two times that this canal gets closed for the purpose of desiltation so this is a very nice thing to notice i hope it is clear with you all you can see again the diaphragm wall it is being diverted and we have the upstream of the canal this is the downstream i hope it is very pretty much clear later on i will compile the google earth map also into this video and combined video i will upload very soon thank you so much take care so that video that we have seen is about this location so if you all can see this is the aqueduct that was visible to the uh, in the video side and this is the ratmau river now the silt ejector that we were talking about is this position so this is the silt ejector and you can see that a cross drainage through this galleries this is ejector a tunnel is coming out from this level and a bypass is forming and that meets actually the again the river this ratmau river so this was the position here since the canal is flowing so that diaphragm wall and all those are not clear however if i can switch the images backward some some sometimes when there is not the water you can see that it will the diaphragm wall is also visible i just show you so this is the cloud image ha huh. so this is the image you can see this is a diaphragm wall now this time is around the november 2018 when the satellite has captured and the canal was not flowing only a lean water is flowing you can see all those waters were going 
inside the galleries there was no flow above this diaphragm wall so that is why now you can see all those water has been pushed and through this flowing into the you can see this is a water coming from this channel so this is the very beautiful view and one thing more to notice is that at this location we have the new upper ganga canal parallel ganga canal you can say this is the parallel ganga canal and at the same location we have the uh, old ganga canal also you can see this is the old ganga canal and at this location we have the aqueduct however the old ganga canal was having the level crossing so you can see that there is a complete mixing of pure of the ratmau river and the old ganga canal water so this is the level crossing but when new canal was formed it was forming the uh, it was uh, proposed to have a aqueduct here so this was the location that we have seen and from this from this location the water was flowing out and i have all, already covered in my video that what it looks like when we have the diaphragm wall and we have the silt ejector hope this video is pretty much clear to you all and this is the location of the uh, uh, upstream of the kaliar sharif you can see so here this is the kaliar sharif you can see and this is the upstream of the kaliar sharif we have seen this position hope i am clear i have compiled the videos i have so shown you the field observation also on the on the site how it looks like and this is the google earth image how it looks like hope i am very clear hope to see you the next hydraulic structure very soon however i just sign off for uh, for as of now for this lecture thank you have a good day